Hi everyone and welcome back to another OpenTunes tutorial. This time we're going to animate using the edit tool and we're going to learn how we can animate the scale, rotation and position of an object. Okay, so what we'll be doing essentially is this UFO, not the alien, we did that in a previous tutorial. You can check out my channel if you'd like to learn how to do that. And we're just going to learn how to animate it flying in from this side and gradually getting bigger and spinning out of control. It's very, very simple. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is, because I've already done this, I'm going to delete those frames. So if I click Windows, Other Windows, and then Function Editor, over here is my UFO layer. So I just want to delete all of these animations. So if I hit Delete, and now I preview my animation. You can see that the UFO is static. Okay, so you'll also need to make sure that you have enough frames for your object. So I'm just going to show you again. Here's the object which I've drawn in with the paintbrush and the fill tool. If I extend the exposure with this shape, I'll now be able to animate it. Okay, so here's the edit tool right here, and it's quite powerful. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up the center of the object. So you might find that the origin or center is located over here. And that will cause problems later, for instance, when we try to change the rotation of the object as it changes the rotation about that point. So reposition the center to the center of your object by clicking on the center and dragging it while in center mode. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to start by changing the position of the object. So in frame one, let's move the position out of the camera over here. So it's outside of our field of view. It's going to fly in and then fly out of our field of view on the other side. Then go down to the final frame of the image and move the position outside of our camera's field of view. And if we check the other in-between frames, you'll see that the that Open Tools has filled those in for us. It's done all the hard work. Now, because the UFO is perhaps getting closer to the alien, we're going to change the scale too. So if we go to the first frame again, then we go up to the Tool Option bar, we can click on Scale. Actually, we'll go in order, so we'll do the rotation. So I'm going to click here in the first frame to set that keyframe, move to the final frame, and I'm going to rotate the object. And if I have done that correctly, it will have filled in all the in-between frames. Okay, let's do the scale next. Click here, decide the scale for the initial frame, go to the next keyframe, which for us is the last frame, and increase the scale. So now it looks rather dramatic as it flies in closer to our alien friend. Okay, and now after scale, shear. Um, that's not particularly useful today, but you can see that we can squash the object and distort it in various ways. So I don't really want to do that today. You might find it useful. Um, but for our purposes, we don't need to do that today. So I'm just going to hit Control and Z and undo that. And now if we preview our animation by hitting Render, you can see that the UFO now starts, flies into screen, and spins out of control. So as you can see, the Edit tool is quite powerful and quite simple. So please leave a comment below if you'd like me to try and help you with a, a specific issue that you're having with open tunes or if you'd like me to uh, create a tutorial on a certain topic please let me know um, i also have other tutorials on my channel not only for open tunes but also for blender inkscape and a whole host of other free software okay thank you very much everyone